Hi guys, this is GadgetMail404 and today I'm doing a video on how to set up a Wi-Fi repeater to a Wi-Fi drone. Now this is a Xiaomi uh, Wi-Fi repeater. If you check out, um, I think he's Quadcopter101, a guy from America. There's links in his videos on where to get them from. You can get them from Banggood. I think they cost about £6.50 thereabouts, so they're not very expensive. And today's video is going to show you guys how to set up the app and how to get it to pair with your drone. So you should get up to 300 meters. Now with my specific folding drone I get about 80 meters range with its built-in Wi-Fi. I went out yesterday to test this all out to see how far it would go but it was so windy and whatever yesterday that it basically it failed. I couldn't do a video because at times the wind was over 20 miles an hour and it was gusting really strong. So you need four things really to get this working. You need a mobile phone. This is Android but it does work on Apple uh, devices as well. Uh, you'll need a power bank, a Wi-Fi repeater and of course you need your drone. Now I've actually set this up already. Now I can't go into the process of setting it up because I've done an update and now it's all coming up in Chinese even though the language is actually uh, when you go to the home page it's all in English but I can't sign in. I think this update has done something I'm not quite sure but I'll talk you through how I did it the other day and then you should not have any problems yourself so you go into your phone you need to go to uh, the app store and you need to download this app and if you can see that and it's called me home this one here it's like a green square like a sort of like a cat icon face type thing and it's called me home and you open it up and you go down into settings or you go to profile sorry and then there's a lot of settings here now what you need to do now I'm just going to put my phone down and try and come above and see if I can do it a bit easier is in the settings you need to choose location I don't know if you can see that, but you need to choose mainland China. Now, I don't know why you do, but you do. And then you can change the language to English if you re, uh, need it. But if you don't, then you just go into, and there's loads of other languages you can choose from. So, you know, there's, there's a lot. So, I don't know why, but you have to choose uh, mainland China. And you have to and then change whatever language you require before you set it up. Now I'm not going to set it up like for the first time because I think since I've done this update, uh, it's it's changed the app slightly. So my advice to you guys is uh, go into the settings and don't choose automatically update. Okay because I think that's what I did and that's where my problem is so to avoid that from happening in the future then that's it so now I'm gonna you don't need this app anymore right that's all set up that's all done uh, where it says update plugins update automatically when connected to Wi-Fi I would untick that box because since I've done that there's that's where my problem is. I can't sign into my account, but I know it's working because I'm going to show you I know it's working. So go to me home. Now you can go to add add device, but now it's going to ask me to keep signing in. Now before it would let you add a device without having to sign in. You have to register when you get the app, you'll need to sign up for the app for this account then you get a code sent to you copy and paste or you know click on the link and all that kind of thing and it will take you where you need to go so 
So I'm going to come out of that. Now, what quad? I mean, this is all done through Quadcopter 101. I can't take all the. Uh, I can't take the credit for this. Quadcopter 101 has figured all this out. He did a video about it, and I'm just. I've got a few subscribers, so I'm trying to spread the word a little bit more to some people that may not follow Quadcopter 101. Have a Wi-Fi drone, not getting very good range from it. This will help. Okay, this will definitely help. So, what you do is put your battery in and let your drone switch on. Yeah. Okay. So you do that, and you just let it warm up, let it get signal. And then get your Wi Fi repeater, get your power bank, plug it in, and switch it on. Sorry about that, that was the wife that was ringing me, so I had to take that phone call. So, as I was saying, you when you normally set it up, there's a little reset button uh, at the bottom there. You just stick a pin in that, and it'll flash orange. And when you go through the app, it finds your drone then you add it and then when you next pair it when you now the next time I plug it in you see you get a solid if you can see that but there's that solid uh, blue light that means it's it's found what it's looking for and I'll show you uh, what I mean by that so you plug that in there so you go to your Wi-Fi settings and what it does is, let me try and move this out of the way. What it does is, right, let's try it like this. So when it finds whatever it is it's looking for, so Wi Fi 720p C4310D, now the Wi Fi version will have a plus on the end. So you see the coding. 720p, CD, blah, blah, blah. Exactly the same. 4310 dash plus. That is your router. So you connect to that. And then it will say strength, excellent, no, it's no security. So you just say connect. It says obtaining ISP. Uh, no ac no instant access so yeah you don't want the instant access occasionally you get a message saying do you want instant access just keep clicking no because if you do it will change to the normal Wi-Fi when you're in the house because this dongle is meant to increase Wi-Fi signal in the house that's what it's predominantly for but there's a hack sort of thing so you can use it for any Wi-Fi drone and there's the message look no internet access switch to other available network choosing uh, no we'll leave it on its present setting basically so you say no if you say yes then it will change to the house Wi-Fi and then you aren't bound through Wi-Fi with the dongle to your drone so I hope that uh, sort of clarifies how you do it um, and the way you can do it is by knowing it's actually paired is if I go into now I go into my app for my drone so I'll just scroll through and the drone I'm using it's using a, an app called uh, it's called Wi-Fi UFO so touch on that and then it says play and then I know when it's live see the transmitter isn't even here I've got the transmitter upstairs so I'm now bound to that dongle and if I unplug that dongle you will lose this signal so it pitches forward quite a lot when you're in mode 3 it pitches like that so even when you tilt the camera up you're still getting a lot of the floor so this drone is meant to fly high you need to be at least 70 to 80 meters up and then just have don't even have the camera tilting down just have it level 
and then when you go forward don't give it full stick just go slow and it won't bank so much and then you get better shots and you know be steady when you're flying etc but i hope this helps you as i say please continue to subscribe to my channel and i will catch you guys in the next one uh, if you don't already know there is a notification bell in youtube please tick it if you haven't and then when i upload my videos you'll get notified straight away this is not just to newbies but some people subscribe to you and then they don't notify they don't get the notification so anyone that's watching my stuff and you want to keep up to date with my stuff then just go into youtube settings uh, when you subscribe to me and then tick the bell icon which is notification so whenever i upload you will be notified accordingly so until the next one this is gadget man 404 out